Hello friends, welcome to Bhuti Rabbit. Welcome to our series on GMeter. Now, often we are test the performance of APIs using GMeter. So in this case, we have to prepare a test plan that will allow us to monitor the performance of specific APIs. So in order to do that, we have to prepare a test plan by setting all the parameters in GMeter which are required to test the particular API. These days, curl is a very popular command line tool that allows us you to get or send data including file using the URL syntax. Nowadays, all the API vendors show a curl command in their documentation. So in this video, we will see a demonstration of a JMeter feature allowing us to create a test plan from a curl command. The options in JMeter related to curl command will allow us to firstly to import a file containing a set of curl commands and create the corresponding JMeter test plan. And secondly, all the curl options that are useful for HTTPS protocol are supported in, the, in this option and JMeter will map it to the corresponding concept or the test element and point it to the configuration page. So to create this, let's see an API request first. So I will open my Postman. And now uh, in here, I'm having some public APIs. So this is an API, get all employee data. So when we uh, run this API, it will bring all the data of the current employees. So let's see that. So if you click on send, so in the headers, I've just uh, given the content type as application JSON as I want the response in JSON. And there are no other uh, parameters to be set in this API. But if there are like authorization or anything, then we can do it from here. Like basic auth or no auth or anything. But right now I'm not having it. So I just maintain this header and let us see what happens when we click on send. So it will take some time depending on your net speed and uh, the server and it will get the expected response. So, so you can see I've got the response and it says success and it will bring all the data for the all the uh, employees that are currently in the DB. So now if you want to do a performance test of this API, now you will have to create a test plan in JMeter. So for that, just let us open JMeter first. Until then, you can see if you go in here, uh, in Postman, there is a column name as code. So let us open JMeter first. Okay, so now JMeter is open. And now if you can see, there is a code option in here. So just click on it and it will show you the curl command related to this API. So if there are any other parameters that are set, then those all will be included in here. So the simple thing what you do is just copy this command and just take it in a particular notepad or something. And now you have to just tweak this particular information a little bit before importing it in JMeter. So what you have to do is just go in here and just remove this X and get and just give a colon at the end also. So, and just remove this backslash. So just make it a bit Okay, so okay, so just remove this backslash from everywhere. Okay, so now you can see all the backslash and everything is removed, and now this command is ready to import. So just copy this and go to your Apache browser, and now in this, just go to your tool section, and there is an option called as import from curl. So just click on this. Now just go in here and paste that command. So now once this is pasted, and when you create, uh, click on this create HTTP request, by default, a uh, test plan will be created for you. So just click on it. And you can see, uh, you get a message like successful created HTTP request. Just close this, and you will be able to see that a listener has been added, a uh, thread group and an HTTP request has automatically be added. So let us take it below. So now you can see the thread group uh, is added and uh, the number of threads and ramp up period is 10. So automatically 10 users will be testing this API. So this is by default, you can change it from here. So right now I'm keeping it as default. Also the loop count is set as forever. So you can remove and uh, you can also check in 
so whatever if you want to keep it for forever just let it be like this so if we go into the http request now we'll be able to see that there in the comment section there is a message that created from curl so whatever test plan that has been created in this way will have this comment so you can remove this comment also if you need and now you can see in postman i have set the method as get so it is automatically selected in here again the protocol that is http so it is automatically being pulled here as http you just need to correct this path a bit so in this case i see a mention http so just remove this http part first now this is your server url or the server name so just copy this server name remove it from here and just paste in here this is the only thing that you need to do and now your test plan is ready so now just go and save this so i'll be saving in my examples this is call call test plan okay so just save it so now uh, we are ready to run this and we are ready to test the performance of the cpi so just quickly run this and just see what results we are getting so now if you see the http request will be running and you can see the http request has started running as per this whatever configuration we have given in the thread group so now as the loop count is forever so it will keep on running forever so in order to stop this just click on here so it will forcefully stop it for now so now just go to a particular http request and see whatever response we are getting so first of all we'll see that response code is 200 and response message is okay that means we are getting the expected response and now uh, you can see the request what went in so this is the request that went in as a part of this http request so this is exactly the same which we have seen here so if you can see here so this is the same request and now we'll be able to see the response data so now this is just change the format from here so just make it json and now you can see the exact response that we got in our particular window in postman we are able to see so in this way we have made a successful http request and now you can test the performance of this api by just hitting this api a number of times by playing with the thread properties in the particular thread group so with this we'll come to an end of this video in the series that was on ability to develop the test plan using the curl command hope you have liked it and do post all your questions suggestions in the comment section below so see you soon with more jmeter related content until then have a great time Thank you and have a good day.